it's not safe for us to be here at all. Six mice. Yeah. This is essentially the exact same thing, if not worse. I guess they don't see this as urgent. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Right now, we are evacuating our home. The Ella, are we evacuating? Say yes. We're about to buckle her and we're about to evacuate. He packed her bag full of stuff. And this is the aftermath of last night. These all have six, six mice in them. So that's great. You can't see anything, so don't even worry. So Ben is cleaning up all of the mice over there right now. And while he's doing that, we're sitting in the car and I'll kind of tell you guys what happened last night. Dada's cleaning up the mice. Say yuck. Get. Get. When we ended the vlog last night, the first one was killed with brooms and a BB gun. The next two, we heard them get trapped in the traps. After that, we decided to go to bed. We were like, oh, we didn't even think that there were three in there. We thought that there was only two. And so we were like, oh, we definitely got all of them. No, uh. That was so alive. Ew. The ones, the ones from this morning were Ew. still moving and it scared me. <laughs> so, um, Ben and I decided to go to bed after three of them were dead yesterday. And while we were laying in bed, we were just like on our phones, I heard another one get trapped. And you can like hear them get trapped because they kind of like move around and you can hear the trap like moving around and so I was like, oh my god, another one just got trapped. And so he went downstairs and he... Picked it up. No, he didn't pick up the mouse. He just picked up the trap, put it in a bag, brought it out here, and placed a new trap, right? Essentially, what I was trying to do was replenish the trap as fast as possible so that if another one came out right afterwards, then that one would get trapped too. So it kind of sucked because it was like very fresh and it was still very alive and like very like yeah. trying to get out. And I, the traps are like, like the black ones you guys saw, they're yeah, like this yeah, big. Yeah. So it's kind of, it's kind of scary. Yeah. I mean, even though it's trapped, it's not gonna do anything. Even if it wasn't, it wouldn't like hurt. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like the possibility of disease is just disgusting. Yeah. Last night, Ben and I both didn't sleep. I was up every hour or so. I would have a bad dream and I would like wake up. I would have bad dreams about mice. Same. I did too. And I would wake up. I constantly thought that there were mice in our room. I constantly thought that there were mice in Ella's room. I had dreams of mice getting up in her crib. I had dreams of mice being under our mattress. Like, it was so bad. We are leaving right now. Can we burn this place down? Because it's not safe for us to be here at all. It's disgusting. Well, it's not safe. It's not clean in there, and they can carry diseases in with me being pregnant and Ella being so young. And in everything and putting everything in her mouth, it's just really not safe for us to be here right now. Oh gosh, there's a neighbor right there. Actually, I kind of want to talk to her. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go talk to her. So Ben just talked to one of our neighbors and apparently she has not had mice in her place as far as she knows. So Ben just kind of gave her a heads up. So back to what I was saying, we barely slept last night. We were up tossing and turning. At one point Ben was rubbing his feet together and I thought that there were mice running around in our room because of the sound. And then when we woke up, Ben brought Ella in our room. She laid in our bed, she asked for Baba, Ben went downstairs. And there was another one trapped in there when we woke up this morning that was still alive. So he took care of that one, took it outside, replaced the trap, and then he brought her back up a bottle. And then he went back downstairs to get her breakfast this morning. And when he went back down there, he saw one go into the trap. So yeah. that was number six that was this morning. So that's how our morning has gone. Ella and I did not go downstairs this morning. We just stayed upstairs. Thankfully, like all of our bedrooms and bathrooms and everything that we used to get ready is upstairs. We have decided to leave. We don't know if we're gonna stay there tonight, but we decided to leave and we are actually gonna go more furniture shopping today because we don't really have anything else to do and we still don't have a couch. So we're gonna go and look at some furniture. All right, so we are here at the first location and this is like an, yeah, this is massive. Like, look, this is literally all just like living and couches. And then that little door over there is like going into bedroom and then dining. And then like this, this whole thing takes up so much space. You think we'll be able to find it? I hope so. It'd be so nice if we got first try. Ella has her traveling friends, Hammy and Horsey. But we walked through all of the couches. There are some nice ones here that we like the shape of, just not necessarily the color. 
and this guy was telling us that we can like basically pick a color and customize a couch but it would take six to eight weeks and i don't have six to eight weeks to wait for that because we're gonna have a baby in that time that's like two months of us renting that would be like wasted without any furniture and so i would rather like compromise on something else and like have it sooner i don't know like i, I don't really want to wait two months to just have a couch in our living room so we're still looking we're not going to settle on anything but we're gonna head over to dining to see if they have any dining tables i did say they ordered a dining table online but my order was canceled so i we're just gonna go over there and look because right now we don't have a dining table either ella where are you ella <gasps> she looks so cute today we have a wild child on our hands. She's gonna be getting hungry here soon. It's almost noon. It's like she's happy right now. Oh, it's, she's about to crash hard. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Ella. Ella Ray. Ella. Oh, I own you. <laughs> so we looked at dining room tables. We didn't really see anything we liked. The one that I ordered online, I really, really love. So I'm just gonna order it again. Now, it's time for lunch. It's 12-12. You haven't eaten today, have you? No, I haven't eaten anything. Oh, The Incredibles is playing over here. You know, I haven't so, eaten anything today because I was dealing with rodents. Yeah, where do you wanna go? I don't care, whatever you think she'll eat and whatever you'll eat, <laughs> I like can find some. No. I mean, if that means drifters, then you want a burger? You want a drifter. You want a burger? No. Yeah, I want like a good burger. Drifters is a good burger. No. Yeah, but nobody else is gonna eat drifters except for you. They have vegetarian options, baby. I don't eat vegetarian. I know, I'm just saying that they, it's an option. We'll talk about where we're gonna eat because oh. Ella wants her baby shark to play and we will be back with a decision, I guess. Well, we decided to come to Red Robin. <laughs> And Ben and Ella are playing. It's really loud in here. What? Oh, she drunk. She drunk. Ella just got her drink. Literally in one sitting. Wow. Yeah, but she never she, does that. She's, she usually takes maybe one or two sips, but she never does that, so she must have been really thirsty. Yeah, no, like literally it's gone. Almost, yeah. yeah. Almost gone. And she's eating. Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty, baby? You want more? You grab more. There you go. Lunch was delicious. Now we are at our next furniture store. We're going to Pier 1 now. It is now 134 and so we're hoping Ella will be good, but we're hoping that never Ella know. will go to sleep. Yeah. So we're gonna sleep. like lay her down and in her crib or <laughs> in her crib. Her crib has Stroller. mice in it. Don't say that. I had a dream that it did, so. That was a fail. Um, Pier 1 didn't have any. Well, they had some like sofas, but they didn't have like anything that we were looking for so we kind of like walked in and looked at each other and we were like and then we left so uh, in this same little section they have pottery barn so ben is running into pottery barn really quick to see if they have any sectionals and we looked online and they have one that i really really love and if anybody is going to have the color that i want it's pottery barn so he's gonna run in really quick so we don't have to get Ella out of the car she's starting to get really tired so um we just want to take her in and out of the car I'm sorry, baby. Good morning, Ella. Good. Ella. Good morning. <laughs> what are you laughing at? at Jack Jack. I say dead, dead, dead. Dead, dead. Hi, baby. It is now five o'clock. Ella and I just took a nap and we woke up at about 4.30. Did we wake up? 4.15? Yeah. The plan is we're going over to my mom's for dinner and then we're going to a hockey game tonight, which I completely forgot about. But we already have plans to go to a, um, an Air Force hockey game tonight. So that's hey, what the plan is. No, no, no. We've been trying to keep Ella up on the couch. She has not touched the floor over there. As you can see, the mouse traps are still over there. Tonight, we aren't staying here. I would be fine with staying here, but Ben really doesn't want 
us to stay here. So I don't know if Ben stay. Are you staying here? I'm thinking about it just so that if there are more mice that get caught, I can replenish the traps and take them out. Because the last thing I want is mice just sitting out on our kitchen floor for 24 hours. Yeah. So, but he wants me and Ella to go over to my mom's house. And so we may do that. Can you say hi? Say hi. Can you give him a kiss? Mm, that's so nice. Do you like the mice? Can you say no? Say, say no. no. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Baba. Oh my gosh, she's oh. already had a whole bottle. <laughs> What are you <laughs> laughing at? <laughs> so basically, the only time that Ella has been in here today is when she woke up this morning and when we got ready, she was upstairs in our room. Then she took a nap in our room and then just now she's sitting here on the yeah, couch. This is, this is the only time that she's been downstairs. Yeah, she literally has not touched any of her toys. She's not touched the hardwood floor at all. Ow! She hasn't even touched like, the carpet area at all. Here. Yeah, no. So Ben just called for the third no, time. No, no, he called no, no. once last night, once this morning, and then once just now because nobody has called us back about this problem. I don't understand why they don't, why we can't just like, they can't send pest control out here. And it kind of sucks because they can't do anything or they're saying it like they can't do anything. Ben was just on the phone with the lady and he's getting really frustrated. I just don't understand. It's like your mom had a very good point. It's like... These people have to have a number, hypothetically speaking, our house floods. Let's say we have a basement, our house floods. There ha they have to have some houses that, and there are things that have like a basement. Yeah. Our house floods, there's gonna be a number that you can contact and they can come out and get you. Yeah. This is essentially the exact same thing, if not worse. Yeah. Because there's a child involved, there's a pregnant woman involved. And they're in our food. And they're, our... They're, they're behind our pots and our pans so we can't cook. They're literally in our pantry with our food. And they're running around our kitchen floor yeah. where she runs around constantly. Yeah. So it's just, just it, I'm just getting really so frustrated and it's just annoying. Yeah. Whenever we do get a call back, I don't know when that will be. I don't know if that will be on Monday. We may have to stay a couple nights at my mom's house, but... My mom even suggested arguing that we need somebody out here to clean the place because okay. one did die in our storage cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> so one was deceased in there. No, no that, that, yeah, that was the one that Natalie. <laughs> yes, um, that you guys saw. Five more have died in our kitchen. And we don't know if there was poop anywhere. We know. Yeah, there was definitely poop. Well, we heard them running around when we got home, so we don't know how long they were running around our house while we were gone because we were at my mom's house for my brother's birthday when we came home and heard them. So we don't know where they were running, and so she kind of argued to have somebody come and like properly deep clean the house. So we'll see what we can do about that. But it's only Saturday, so we it's still like have a lot. Yeah. Right now, I'm gonna go upstairs and fix myself because I slept on this side of my face, and so my eyelashes are like all weird and like the makeup on this side of my face is all coming off because I slept on it. So I need to go do that and then we're gonna go over to yeah. Nana's house and eat some tacos. Can you say Nana? Nana. You wanna go to Nana's house? Can you say, can you say taco? Orele taco. Can you say papi? Papi. Can you say caca? Caca. Can you say cucumber? Best. We should get her to say all of her words. All right, let's do it. All right, show and tell. So Ella's gonna, Show right. us all of her words. Ella, Sit down. Say mommy. Dada. <laughs> <laughs> say mommy. Dada. No, say mommy. Mama. Yeah. Okay, so mama. Can you da say dada? Dada. Can you say nana? Nana. Say poppy. Poppy. Say poppy. <laughs> Can you say strawberry? Poppy. Can you say banana? She usually says banana. Oh, she wants one. You want a banana? Oh, oh, I'm sure Nana has bananas. We ran out. Can you say hi? Hi. Can you say bye? Bye. Can you say Coco? Coco. Can you say caca? Caca. Say uh oh. Uh oh. Say uh oh. Watch. I bet you should say it if I drop this much. Ella, look. <laughs> Can you say baby? 
baby? Can you say hot? Hot. Yeah. Can, can you say you... cold? Cold. Say Good. go. Go. Can you say get? Get. get. That's what she yeah. says. That's for like get. when something's gross. Say get. Hi, baby. Yeah. Can you say get? Oh, can you say nine nine? No. Oh, where's your baby? Yeah, where's your baby? Is it right there? Oh, baby. Yeah, yeah that's her baby. babies. I wonder if she knows what toes are, because she always goes. She does. She knows what her toes are. Ella, where are your toes? She's pat patting me. Oh yeah. Where's your toes? Ella, where's your toes? Do you smell? She wants you to smell. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> you stinky feet. She thinks that's funny. <gasps> Ella, look at the doggy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 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 Natalie, we're not infested, we don't think. Sure hope No, that is called infestation. If there's like more than two, right? That is right. Alright, we're here at the hockey game. We actually stopped by and ate dinner at my parents' house. And I have to tell Ben something. Ben, guess what? What? The first time I ever held hands with somebody oh, was yeah. at a Air Force hockey game. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Who was he? Are you jealous? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. We are here. We have arrived. Apparently, Ella likes hockey a lot. She's Ella. so into it. Do you like hockey? She keeps clapping. Yeah. Clap. Yay. <laughs> so we just bought cotton candy, and Ella is going to try cotton candy for the very first time. I think that she's going to love it. Oh, it's going to be so sicky. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Honey, if you don't like this, look that again. Ella, try. Try it. Eat more. Eat it. Ooh. It's like, you know, like dissolves in her mouth. It's dissolving in her fingers. Yeah. Alright guys, we are back in our house right now. I don't know where we left off at the game, but we left the game early because it is actually now 10 o'clock and we left the game. 20 minutes early. So we decided minutes. to leave because it was really late and Ella was starting to get a tiny bit fuzzy, but she did really, really well. Ella and I are packing up our stuff and we're gonna go stay the night in my mom's house just because Ben does not feel comfortable with us staying here. And Ben's gonna stay here and switch out the traps if he needs to. And he also just wants to play Fortnite with Angelo and he doesn't care, so. He's staying here. So far, there haven't been any mice except for the two that were here this morning. So altogether, we caught six, two big ones, and four little ones. So. Yo, those big ones were big. I know. Ben took pictures of all of them just as proof for our landlord and everything. But we aren't telling like our landlord people that we think that they're gone because they could come back anytime and we need all these holes like sealed up and we need everything cleaned up as well as possible. I was so tired so Ben's gonna go up there and pack her a little bag. You wanna go? Yeah, yeah, we have to leave, baby. Go, go. You wanna watch go, go? Coco. You can watch Coco tomorrow morning, okay? Yeah, it's time for nine nights. Oh, she's so tired. All of us ran by Dutch on the way home, and I got some coffee because I am about to edit the video that you guys are going to see before this, which is like us finding out that we have mice in our place. And it's already 10 o'clock, so I'm going to do that tonight. I'm actually really excited to look at the footage, and I think it's going to be a really long video. So if you haven't seen that one, Go check out that video because I'm sure it's hilarious. I'm gonna be laughing the whole entire time. I edit it. We got an email back from somebody who does maintenance for all of the places that they rent out. And the guy was like, all maintenance requests have to be through their like proper written maintenance request thingy online. So that's what we should have done is instead of calling and be like, hey, we have mice running around our house we should have typed up a written maintenance request and sent it in that was the first thing he said the next thing was that they did a thorough inspection through our place before we moved in and there were no mice and all of a sudden there are mice so they're asking if we think that we brought the mice in from moving so when ben and i got that email or when i read it i was like Oh my god. So that was a little bit frustrating because we know that there were no mice in our old apartment and we packed our boxes the night before and then unpacked them the next day. So there was no way that mice could have like 
chewed into a box that was sitting for a while or it wasn't through like a moving company or anything like that. So we know that we didn't bring in the mice. And then it's so funny, I was telling mom, I was like, okay, so like if our pipes like ever freeze and burst or something like that and our place starts to flood or we have some kind of issue that's emergent like that, I'll just write up a written maintenance request and let you guys see that within like 12 to 24 hours. Like, we'll, we'll just do that next time. Like, I don't know. It's just, I guess they don't see this as urgent and I should just send them a video of mice running around our kitchen floor. <laughs> like, so nobody will be here until Monday to come and look at anything to seal up any holes. And then after that, we're gonna request like some cleaning come in because it's not good for me to be like near all that while being pregnant and Ella being here is just, it's, it's a lot. So hopefully we'll have an update soon, tomorrow, Monday, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. That'll be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed um, tomorrow. I'm sure we'll come back here and start cleaning everything up. Ella probably thinks that she's going to sleep. We're gonna come and like swear for the floors and wash our dishes and do all of that stuff. But for right now, we just need to go to sleep. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram before you leave and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys. Thank you.